which you would do. So like any normal child, she could go to pick it up with two hands. Might need to write early. Go to it. And the mother can remind her, ah, uh, use your fork. And she would slice it and eat it daintily. And that's it. The boiler room was a fun set. This was, again, using a little bit of the old, uh, old movie magic. Obviously, there's so many boilers, and the actual big Titanic boiler room went on forever. We only built two and a half boilers, uh, and then stuck a mirror on the end. So it looked like the boilers just continued on and on and on. So you were able to look into the mirror, and lo it looked as if the boilers repeated all the way down through the ship. It was a, a fun bit of movie magic. Jim's thing to me, he wanted Dante's Inferno. And I think we really got it because it was hot and sweaty down there. And I think the stokers had this kind of great patina and sweat on them. And suddenly all the, the coal dust started to settle. And, you know, you had the, the real look. And uh, it, was, it was great. The models that contained the flooding were shot outdoors because there was a lot of water involved. We had a rig built where it was like a ball with like a fire hose nozzle hooked up to it. And that was pulled through the hole. I think we hooked it up to somebody's car or something like that to pull that thing. When that shot went off, it looked so real. When we saw it in dailies, we were just amazed the way everything blew in there. And that was a lot of fun. To create the interaction between our main characters and the iceberg, we dumped a load of ice down a chute on the deck of our big set using a motion control camera and a big piece of green screen behind the set. We then shot our miniature iceberg with the same camera move on a motion control stage with interactive lighting from the ship's windows. We then created digital falling ice pieces to bridge the full scale and miniature elements and composited them together into the final shot. For a subsequent shot of the iceberg moving alongside the ship, we started with a live action plate shot on our big set, and then added our iceberg model, augmented with lighting effects coming from the ship's portholes, real ocean water and foam elements for the wakes, and various splash elements to create the necessary water interaction. The boiler room was just incredible. You couldn't find a bad angle to shoot the set at. Shut that damn pot! But it wasn't designed very well for the flooding sequence because they had no capacity to relieve the water once it poured in. So we just shot this thing as the events were happening, and each take we did, it got more and more deep. Come <laughs> on.